guys, so today I'm doing my long-awaited YSL Rouge for Love to Shine, I think that's how you pronounce them, lip swatches, and these are kind of the more sheer range, so I do have a couple of the normal Rouge for Lips, and they've actually got like a gold packaging on them, like the logo itself and the little detailing around it is silver, whereas the regular Rouge for Lips lipsticks have a gold detailing. That's kind of how you can tell them apart in your collection. I believe I have 11. Let me do some quick maths. Yes, 11. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this should be the full collection. I was actually gifted these from YSL, which was crazy. And they told me it was the whole collection. So I don't have to do a swatch video or anything like that. It was just purely a gift, but I asked on Instagram if you guys wanted me to do swatches. I honestly didn't know if they would be beneficial because these are kind of sheer, like, balmy tint kind of products but heaps of you still came forward and said you would really be interested in seeing some swatches you hadn't seen any online and so hopefully this can help some of you out who are looking at purchasing these and the ones I've worn so far I find them to be really moisturizing I actually prefer the consistency of these to the regular Rouge for Lapt lipsticks I feel like these are just a little bit too thin and slippery for my liking anyway whereas because these have a balm to them they're still like shiny and go on smoothly and everything but it gives them a tiny bit more waxiness and they don't really like move around as much. My holders I keep these in are just from Payless Plastics. You can get them from any plastics shop in New Zealand or you could probably source them on eBay far cheaper than what I paid for these. These are 37 US dollars each and in New Zealand, just trying to look it up on Farmers, they are $65, so definitely a luxury product. On the YSL site, these are categorized as lipsticks. So me saying lip balms, I shouldn't really say lip balm, but they are like an oil and stick product. It says they have hyaluronic acid microspheres to help seal in moisture for eight hours of hydration. Antioxidants and emollients help condition and soften, soften, soften lips with dazzling color. Does anyone say soften? I don't think they do. I think I just made up that pronunciation. It says they have a bright sheer color, which usually I'd be like, how can there be such a thing as a bright sheer color? But I know what they mean. Instead of being like a really soft kind of muted pink, it's like a fuchsia pink, but a light, very like sheer version. It's hard to explain. As you can probably see from the colors on the packaging, they are like bright bases. By the way, I should mention this makeup I did film a tutorial on, just like a chat through tutorial, full face, and it's based on the Charlotte Tilbury, the Dolce Vita eyeshadow palette. So if that's up, I'll link it down below. Might not be up till after this, but either way, it's coming. On my lips right now, I'm wearing Lux Natural Lipstick by MAC, if anyone was wondering, but I'll take that off. My lips are actually quite dry right now. In terms of a swatch video, this is a pretty good one to be doing because they are moisturizing. Um, but hopefully they don't show up any like texture on my lips or anything. It's just like really fallen into winter here over the last few weeks and I'm just like a dried up prune. So this one is shade 44. This one's more of a muted baby pink. They have a decent amount of color to them still. So they're not super sheer. They're not like the Lancome Juicy Shakers sheer, but they're just not as pigmented as a normal lipstick. So I'll pop this on. I can tell you what, as someone with dry lips, these feel amazing. It feels like putting like a silicone primer on your lips. They feel so nice. So there is shade 11 on. I don't know if you'll be able to tell a huge difference because this shade is actually very similar to my natural lip color. It's one of my faves to just chuck on with an everyday, very natural makeup look because it gives you that little like tint of color, but it doesn't dry your lips out. It's nothing harsh on your lips. Like if you have something on that night and you're gonna wear a liquid lipstick, you can just pop this on. You've got your color on your lips, but it's so nourishing. This is kind of gross, but maybe you can see my kiss mark there. That's the kind of color it is. It's like a soft pink. My lips already feel slightly more hydrated. Okay, there's a lot of pinky shades that look very similar. So let's go for shade 41 next. This one definitely has more of a neon pink quality to it. But as you can see, once it's on, not so scary. Although a lip color this bright would be awesome, but it does come off a lot more wearable on the lips. So hopefully you can see what I mean when I said they are bright and sheer because in the tube, like look at that, so bright and the color is bright but it's sheerer than this color in the stick, if you feel me. So they're still bright but so wearable and so nourishing. 
By the way, I didn't want to talk too much about the packaging because I presume most of you have seen it, but it's beautiful. Super weighty, so nice, like clicks together, very sturdy. Obviously, visually, it's just absolutely stunning. That's why I usually have them on display because I just think they are so stunning. This packaging is unreal. Maybe a contributing factor as to why they're so expensive, but honestly, Packaging is beautiful, I don't even care. Next color I'm going to try is number 43. This is again quite a muted color, so not as neon as some of them, and it's got kind of like a corally, reddy base to it. And you should be able to see too, like my lips are dry now, but the product does leave a nice stain on your lips. So there is shade 43, yes, 43 on. It's again very wearable. This would go with, I feel like, any eye look, because there's like kind of red and like plums and stuff in this eyeshadow. You wouldn't think this kind of shade would go, but it does. So next shade, let's go for this one. This is number 51. In between the muted pink we did earlier and that really neon pink, so it's a little bit brighter. So there is 51 on. As you can see, it is a very bubblegummy, cute pink shade. Would definitely go with a smoky, like cool toned eye, like greys and silvers would look really pretty. Or of course, just with natural makeup, I really like this shade. I think it's very fun and girly. Sorry, my battery just died. Hopefully the camera positioning hasn't changed too much. What was I up to? I think I was about to do, not that one. This next one here is shade 52. Oh, love the color of this one so they are mainly pinks in this range there's a few like reds and stuff which I'll show you soon but they are mainly pinks and I feel like that's just because it's what women would buy the most so again that one is 52 a little different to the last one but quite similar as you can see I kind of like them equally to be honest probably wouldn't need to buy both of them is that one beautiful lip swatch. I'm like, huh. Let's stick to the pinks. This one here is number 50. So I don't think they necessarily go in like order of light to dark with the numbers. They're kind of random. Neon pink. It's not as light neon as that other one I showed you earlier. But I mean, look at this. It just looks good enough to eat, doesn't it? I'm actually presuming. I don't know for sure, but it seems to me like these are scented the same as the normal Rouge for Lips. I don't know. Honestly, I feel like the fragrance might have faded on these, but they just smell like a lot of YSL products to me, if you ask me, you could probably look it up, but they smell like mango-y, mango -y and kind of floral. Look at that, look at that bad boy. So lightweight, you cannot feel them on your lips, it feels like I'm applying not even lip balm, like they're thinner than lip balm, it feels almost like a lip oil, but they're not like oily, it's so weird. You need to go try these, seriously, I don't know how well I'm describing them, but they're really, really nice. Oh gosh, that one I went like way over my lip line. That's right, we'll just overdraw. No one will ever know. This one is definitely one of the less sheer ones. You can see this looks like a full on lip color. It's so thin though, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a full on lipstick, but if I look at myself in the mirror, it definitely looks like it. This is very, very vivid. But that again is number 50. Look how bright that is. I don't know what YSL uses in their staining products, but man, they are onto it with the staining because their glossy stains are amazing as well. They stain your lips like all night and they're not drying. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of Bare Skin Concealer by Bare Minerals on my lips. And that is my lip art for today. Instagram. I've only got five to go. I think next I'm gonna do the last kind of pinky one, besides this one, which is like lilac-y pink, this one here is number 49. This one, out of context, does look very similar to the other neon one, which is number 50. But if you look at them side by side, this is definitely more of a cool tone, whereas this one has got like a kind of corally base. I really love both of them. They're very like Barbie neon fun colors. Um, I would imagine they're not like the best sellers or anything, but the fact that they have the option of these amazing vivid colors, I appreciate that. I need to stop doing DJ Khaled like references in my videos. It's not okay. Anyway, this one is shade 49, like I said. I must admit I'm a little bit disappointed. This is one of the ones I hadn't tried on yet. I was hoping it would keep some of that kind of spicy, corally undertone. It's kind of just gone pink. It's not as pink as number 50, but 
still kind of gone pink. By no means a bad colour, it's still gorgeous but more on the pinky side than I expected. All right, next one we have is number 47. This one looks very kind of brownie based. It's like a brownie based nude with a tiny bit of a mauve kind of element to it. Nah, see it's barely even. In fact, this is probably one of the sheerest ones. Like if I swatch it on my hand, you can see it's more of a light balm. So this is definitely one that kind of shows your natural lip pigment through it. But gives a really nice balmy finish and almost like nudened out my lip color a bit. So that one is 47. There's the color if you're wondering what it looks like off. So kind of like a nudie shade. Next one I have here is the number 46. And this is so fun looking in the tube. I love it. <gasps> yes, it delivers. This is just what I wanted the other one to look like. It was everything I had hoped for. Number 46, I love you long time. Oh, this one might be one of my favorites. I mean, I love the pinks for every day. This one's absolutely gorgeous. Very unique kind of color. It's like very vivid, but because it has that sheer kind of element to it. I just don't even know. How would you explain this? It's like an orangey based red, but very bright, but also like glossy and has like a very natural kind of hue to it because it's so sheer, but then bright. Second to last one I have here is number 45. Looks quite similar to the last one, but a little bit deeper, so it looks more like a true red in the tube. I feel like my swatching face is so ugly, like I don't even try to look nice, I'm just like, eh. So there is number 45 on. I'd say go for it if you love reds. You're not, but there's some of my teeth for a second there. You're not a big like coral fan. I do think that this would suit a lot of people. It's got a very like just bitten look. Do you know what I mean? Like that editorial Snow White kind of look. Where it's like a really glossy red lip but this is almost like an innocent glossy red lip because it's got that beautiful kind of freshness to it i don't know i really like it if you like your reds then i would check that one out and very last but not least we have number 48 which looks very plummy it's such a pretty color it's like a burgundy plum so there is 48 on, definitely throws more pink than it looks in the tube as to be expected with most of these products, but it is certainly darker than the other pinks I have tried. It's got more of a berry look to it rather than just like a fuchsia, bright baby pink, whatever, neon pink, like all the other ones. It's more of like a berry kind of shade. And that is where the video ends. So I hope you guys enjoyed swatches of these beautiful babies right here. Like I said, they are quite a sheer product, but I stand by what YSL claimed, that they are bright and sheer, because, I don't know, can you just see this? They have like a brightness to them, even though they are a sheer product. If you're into your more matte, opaque kind of lip colours, then maybe these wouldn't be for you. Definitely a must-have for someone who loves more natural makeup looks. And I would also recommend checking them out if you're kind of a die-hard colour fan, but your lips need a break sometimes, and you just want something that's really light and easy to wear on the lips but still gives you a little bit of color. I have no issues when it comes to these products, you know, nothing bad to really raise about them. I think they're really fantastic, lovely packaging. Yes, the price point is a little bit, but I think all the colors in the collection are consistently really nice. They give you such a long wearing color, you cannot complain. They feel beautiful on your lips and they are very nourishing. They actually feel like a very nourishing balm on so at the end of the day your lips actually look better than at the start of the day I just absolutely love them so I hope you guys enjoyed that lip swatch video give it a thumbs up if you did I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you have not already and yeah let me know what lip colors you would like me to swatch next maybe I can go out and purchase some new ones have an amazing day and I'll talk to you again very soon bye is the music started can I make it I'm gonna hear the word, I heard that because Drake had a pause. Oh, Can you not? Drake! Lady Matendo. We'll see.